Hello guys, this is Adam from Together Audio. In this tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to synchronize your Arturia key steps uh, tempo to the tempo of your DAW project so that the arpeggiator and sequencer runs in time with your song. For more tutorials, synth jams and plugin demos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more content. Here's a simple beat I made with kick synth and clap maker, and I'll be playing on top of this using Reform and Arturia Keystep. Now let's turn on the arpeggiator, and as we'll see, synchronizing this to project tempo using the rate knob is not an easy task. Even using top tempo won't get you a perfect sync. That's why we'll be using MIDI clock to make key step follow the session's tempo. To send MIDI clock to key step, we need to go into project settings, synchronization, MIDI tab, and then select key step and enable MIDI clock. Since this is in the project settings, this is project specific, so for a new session you'll have to do it all over again or use project templates. Now to switch key step from its internal clock to MIDI clock sent over USB, you have to set the jumper switches on the back to the appropriate setting. So we are setting this to USB and for other uses you can also set this to receive uh, sync via the MIDI ports or the sync in. Now key step is receiving MIDI clock and should follow the session's tempo. Now let's change the BPM setting and we'll see that it follows. Please note that this makes key step follow the tempo of the session exactly, but you still need to hit your chords on the beat, so the arpeggiator plays them in sync. In Studio One, the MIDI clock sync is set globally in preferences and external devices. And not only you have to add your key step as a MIDI keyboard, then receive from key step and default instrument input, but you also have to have means to send MIDI clock to key step. Because currently we're only receiving notes because this is set up as a MIDI keyboard. For that, we have to add it again, but as a new instrument and select the appropriate Send To, as well as enable Send MIDI Clock. Don't forget to set the jumpers to receive MIDI Clock over USB as before. A different BPM. You can find free demos of all plugins used in this tutorial on togetheraudio.com. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly updates of synth jams, tutorials, and plugin demos.
We would also love to have you as a part of our community on Instagram and Facebook, so please follow us. Or our plugins can be purchased for as low as $10 thanks to our pay what you want model and 10% of the price you choose goes to a good cause you can select at checkout. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Peace.